Hello, welcome to a short presentation on the coronavirus uh, information really and where you can go to find it. We do indeed live in challenging times. Like a lot of other people at the moment, I'm working from home. Uh, so we're just going to record this and stick it up on YouTube. There's obviously there's heaps of information out there at the moment from lots of different sources. But what we're going to try and do is just pull a little bit of it together uh, and share it with you and give you some of the key places to go and find the up-to-date information. So at the moment, this is current as of the 20th of March uh, a.m. It's obviously a very fluid situation, so it may be out of date by the end of the afternoon, but we will carry on. Uh, I've got a couple of references where you can go and find information. So this is really specifically relating more to Scotland than the UK, uh, but the Fine Business Support website is pretty useful and it has up-to-date information on it. There's also our own news feed on our own website, so we're trying to keep that as up-to-date as possible. So go there and you can find out uh, what's happening. And the FSB, their website has also been pretty good and has some up-to-date information, which they're trying to maintain as, as much as possible. And finally, if you need to contact HMRC uh, to arrange a time to pay agreement, then they have a dedicated helpline and the number is there. So in terms of the, the support available, there's obviously been a, a lot of announcements in terms of the UK in general, uh, but the position in Scotland is slightly different because it's a devolved authority. So some of the information that is generally available isn't necessarily that specific or Scottish specific. So we've tried to put some of the headline numbers in terms of what's available on here uh, so that you can have a look for a Scottish business. Uh, in terms of the the relief, it's predominantly rates relief. So effectively, the planned increase for 2021 is going to be reversed. Uh, in terms of retail, hospitality and leisure businesses, so there's one caveat that the, the premises need to be occupied, then there's going to be 100% relief for 2020-21 again. So that's good news for these businesses. Uh, in terms of grants, there's been a lot of talk about what's actually going to be available. So if you are a small business who benefits from small business rates relief or the rural relief, then you are likely to be eligible for a £10,000 grant. If you're a retail, hospitality or leisure business and your rateable value is between 18000 and 51000 then you're likely to be eligible for a £25,000 grant. Uh, you can only apply for one grant, even if you own multiple properties. And at the moment, at this point in time, it's unclear exactly how relief will be granted, but the Scottish Government's working with Scotland's councils in order to look at what the best way will be to administer the actual process. So as yet, there's no definitive details on how it will be applied, but it looks like it will be via the local councils and the ratings. Uh, associations. In terms of retail, hospitality and leisure, I've put a list here so it's not definitive. Your business may not fall into any of these categories but it could still apply so it's worth checking with your local authority. Uh, but I guess the simple way to think about it of retail is pretty much anything that's selling to the public. Uh, hospitality, I guess if you're involved in food and drink, then there's a good chance that you're going to be covered and leisure is a bit of a catch-all. So uh, there's quite a diverse range of venues in there, uh, but it's worth checking, as I said, with your local authority. One of the things that we've been looking at is insurance and in terms of uh, whether your business interruption insurance, if you have it, will cover uh, the outbreak or the uh, loss of income or loss of revenue from the coronavirus. Uh, if you have a denial of access clause, so particularly, I guess, if you're a retail or leisure type business where you're depending on uh, the public coming in, then that should be triggered. Uh, so the announcements that have been made in the UK uh, should be enough to actually trigger that. And that would mean that you can potentially claim if you've got a fixed list of events on your uh, policy, so some will cover 
a medical event, then coronavirus, because it would have been unknown at the time that your policy was written, probably won't be covered. And the, the logic behind that is that the insurers wouldn't have priced an event like this into the policy. So unfortunately, in these circumstances, it'd be worth checking with your, your insurers, but don't hold out too much hope that you'll be covered. One thing which may be overlooked, and to be honest, it may be the least of the worries for uh, a lot of people who are going through you know, some fairly turbulent times in their business at the moment, but you should definitely think about in, informing your insurers if there's any change to your work patterns. So, for instance, your premises may now be closed, so it would be worth telling the insurers about that so that they're aware of it. Uh, if your team are working from home, Again, you may have equipment now, which is at different locations and in people's houses, which wasn't there before. So again, just let your insurers know about it. And of course, if you know maybe you're using personal cars or uh, business vehicles for deliveries, which were previously really just getting used for commuting, then again, tell the insurers about it just to make sure that you don't have any further issues. As been widely reported in the press that there's going to be a large amount of loan funding available to help businesses through uh, the current situation. However, that may not all be good news. So effectively, it's a loan guarantee scheme that's been administered via the British Business Bank, who will then make money available to commercial lenders. The issue with that in terms of business owners is that commercial lenders will produce their own products and they will make them available in commercial terms. So although the perception may have been given in the press that the money may be flowing direct to business owners, that isn't necessarily the case. So if you're applying for funding, then you should still expect that you will have a, a, some information that you need to make available to whoever the potential lender is, and that also you might have to make a personal guarantee or provide another form of security. So. Again, it's not necessarily uh, as good news as it initially sounded. Be warned as pre-armed uh, as far as that goes. Uh, in terms of what we can do to help, if you go to our website, then we have a link uh, where you can search for funding. It's effectively a whole of market operation, so you can put in some information and it will bring up the best products or products that are available for you. So what to do next? I guess the key thing is don't panic. We understand that a lot of uh, our clients will require help with cash flow forecasting to see how they need to get through the next uh, few months, potentially. Uh, so please contact us and we will do our very best to help you.